Welcome back to Psalm number five. Psalm five for the director of music for flutes, a Psalm of David. Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my sign. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God, for to you I pray. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. You are not a God who takes pleasure in evil. With you, the wicked cannot dwell. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who do wrong. You destroy those who tell lies. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men, the Lord abhors. But I, by your great mercy, will come into your house. In reverence, I will bow down toward your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make straight your way before me. Not a word from their mouth can be trusted. Their heart is filled with destruction. Their throat is an open grave. With their tongue, they speak deceit. Declare them guilty, O God. Let their intrigues be their downfall. Banish them for their many sins, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. For surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. I love verse 1. Give ear to my words, O Lord, and consider my sign. Listen to my cry for help. You know, it's, it's good to know that we can go to Him with problems. We can sigh. We can cry. And He's going to be able to hear that, right? And He sees our tears, and He sees our sighing and crying. And even when you're really distressed and depressed and sad, it's okay. Just lift that still up to God. I love verse 3. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. You know, and that's a great way to start your day, right? In the morning, laying your requests before God and then waiting in expectation. I think sometimes we pray and we just think, well, you know, God will do it or not or whatever. We don't really keep waiting in expectation. So I like that line. I hope today we can all wait in expectation for the answers that we have lifted up to God. And it's great to do those in the morning. Great way to start your day. And then I love verse 8. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make straight your way before me. And I have here in the little side note, need to follow him every second. And that's really true. We need to be following him and he's going to make our paths straight. And this world looks like crazy and just turmoil and our paths are all over the place. But if you trust him, you're going to have a straight path. Won't we? Yes, we will. Straight path. You just wet those ears scratch. You're so funny. You're so funny. Okay. And lastly, verse 11. Let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. So you know what? We can be glad in Him, and we can be singing for joy. So I hope today you follow Him, knowing that He's going to make your path straight, and that you can sigh and cry, and it's okay to lift that up to God. And the third thing thing is, you can be full of joy, because He's going to give you joy. Have a joyful day following Him on the straight path, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. And I would like to answer any question you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. 